Management of wolves, gray wolves, in Wisconsin have been a controversial topic among outdoor enthusiasts and politicians alike. A recent congressional action, a proposal, could change things for the wolf if it's passed. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson joins us now live in studio with details. Morgan. Justin, Representative Tom Tiffany has said one of his top priorities in Congress is to delist the timber wolf from the federal endangered species list. He hopes to do that with a bill he co-wrote the Managing Predators Act. Earlier this month, Representative Tom Tiffany introduced legislation that would permanently remove the gray wolf from the list of federal endangered species. It's important to the people of northern and western Wisconsin. The Managing Predators Act would give state lawmakers and wildlife officials control over management of wolves. I trust the wildlife managers at the DNR. They'll make sure they manage the population appropriately. However, a wildlife expert from Wisconsin's Green Fire thinks Tiffany's bill is unnecessary. Adrian Weidevin said the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service was on the verge of delisting wolves. The wolves have recovered, so many of us do feel their populations have recovered and can be managed by the state. Representative Tiffany thinks congressional action is more certain to deliver results. He says the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's process could be stopped in the courts. We have very deep pocketed groups that fight delisting, fight the wolf delisting every time that it happens. They're going to do the same when the Fish and Wildlife Service does the right thing. Whitevin does agree that a change should be made to the endangered species list. Species should certainly be delisted when their populations have recovered. He just trusts a move by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service more. Tiffany trusts state DNR officials to maintain wolf populations. I trust our, um, our wildlife managers in the Department of Natural Resources to make the right decision. They're not going to allow the wolf to become endangered again. It will be tough for the bill to pass the Democrat-controlled House of Representatives. Tiffany's opponent, Trisha Zunker, spoke out today against the bill. She said there are more pressing issues at hand. We need to make sure that our frontline workers have PPE. We need to ensure enough testing so that we can get this pandemic under control. We need our essential workers to have hazard pay. We need to extend unemployment benefits for those individuals who have lost their jobs due to the pandemic. We need to make sure our farmers and our small businesses have the support that they need. Tiffany and Zunker face off again in this November 7th congressional election after Tiffany won the special election for the seat by 14 points earlier this year. We'll be right back.